All right, well, we are here today at the heart of Ohio antiques in Springfield, Ohio. And I've got George the Antique Nomad behind me. We're Isn't that here. exciting? Surprise! And we've also got Andrew and Laurel on the other side of the truck. I don't know what today will hold, um, but we're gonna start here and see what happens. So we're gonna head in and we're gonna see um, Jacob and Josh of Burner Brother Antiques, and we're gonna go from there. So why don't we uh, see what happens? Here we go. All right, we're going for a ride in the wagon. Where are we going, Laurel? Gonna go for a ride? All right, well, I figured we'd do a little shopping here in Jacob and Josh's cases. I was gonna say booths. I'm like, well, no, these are really cases. Um, and they are over here, right inside the door. I love the shape of this from Sweden. Zoom you guys out a little bit. There we go. It's fantastic for 25. I think I might take that. I love this Royal Hager. I always love the shape of that one. This is also really neat. 45 on that. I don't recognize that marking, but I really love the style of it for 45, so I'll take that as well. Let's go down here and take a peek. Fish is so beautiful and colorful. It's Italian. Those aren't actually chips. Those are um, where the glaze is a little bit sparse. So I'll take those and then I'm going to take you guys over here. The last time I was here, I was checking out this set here. Um, this is, I can't remember the name of it, Shoji, possibly. Is that what it is? Uh, maybe they have it on the sticker. Imperial glass bar set, $975, um, but it's a complete set. I think it has all the tall glasses. Well, it's missing a few pieces, but it has the tall glasses. It has the short glasses. It has the decanter, and it has that large, larger piece there. I was tempted on that the last time I was here, and since it's still here, I might actually do it. Uh, what do we have down here? I love that, that looks like Germany. A lava glaze. I think I'll probably get that out. What's that behind there? It is Hager, $85. What else? There's a Rosenthal Netter. Oh my gosh, I love that in the back. Puerto Rico, it's a bird. It's a funky looking bird. <laughs> it's 35. All right, so maybe I'll get the key. There's two Sasha Brastoff trays. Um, the first one looks like a guy. The other one, maybe a camel? Not really sure. But that's kind of what we're working with here. So I'm gonna maybe get a key for this and check out some of these other cases. Um, I love this, but it's 155. I'm not sure on that. All right, well, let's see if I can maybe get a key for over here. All right, well, we are gonna head down in this direction, I think. I don't normally come down this way. This is usually the last direction I go, so I figured I'd make it first this time around. Mix things up a little bit. Oh, look, I've had one of those before. That one is orange and white. $95 on that though. Am I going to do anything with that? Usually I get them for about $45, which I'm comfortable with. I feel like that's probably right around full retail. Ooh, let's go over this way. This is the case where I bought that, um, I think it was, it was the Hedy Shoop. I was going to say Sasha Brastoff, but it was Hedy Shoop. Um, and they have pretty decent prices through here. Let's see if we can spot anything. Because it looks like they've restocked since my last visit. I thought this was so bizarre. I don't know if I filmed this the last time, but check this out. <laughs> now, it has some damage, but it's really strange to me. It's made of art glass, and it's actually moldy lemons. Like, <laughs> like let's put this as a centerpiece on our table. 
<laughs> I've seen like the fresh looking lemons as centerpieces, but I've never seen moldy lemons before. And I just think that's so, so different. I'm really digging these art pottery seals. And I think that maybe I will have to get a key for these. Um, they're just art pottery seals. There is a marking on them. It's not something I recognize. But I really love the shape. They kind of have like an Art Deco looking base. Does that look like Fisher to you? Yes, it is. That's, yes. I think. F-I... 1944. Interesting. Older than I thought. I'm not sure about Fisher actually now. Heiser? H? Oh, maybe? I'm not really sure. I don't know. I like I them. think they're cool. I feel like that impressed mark is going to be the thing that might link up to it on oh, the base yeah. there. Sorry, you've got it right that there. That thing there. Yeah, interesting. Yes, I will take them. <laughs> well, I'm going to mosey on down the way and see what else we can find. Oh, wow. Northern Lights. Uh, well, I, have, uh, I, have I think that is a plastic yeah. horse. Uh, and you a B4, ma'am? Oh my. Pigeon Forge, a whole collection. Look at how cute those owls are. <laughs> I love Pigeon Forge pottery. Their critters are so fun. The original sticker on it. I love this little Lalik scarab. I've never seen that little guy before, but he's so cute. Now I'm making my way down this direction because the last time I was here, there was a cute little Icolt perfume that I had my eye on um, that I left behind. And I don't know if it'll still be here, but oh. It's still here. It's still here. It's right there. And it is $130. I kind of love it. But also, I don't know what 130 But also, look how pretty it is. <laughs> that was my, that was, I was conflicted the last time. And now I have to make up my mind. Yeah, sometimes the perfume will actually gook these up. Sometimes also, if you just warm it with your hand, one will expand enough to come out, but it might have to be run under hot water to get it out. Hopefully they didn't glue it in. Well, that's what I was wondering, if it was glued. Oh, yeah, because that you couldn't do much about. I just don't know. Great signature, though. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's really tight. Hmm. They said it was eye cold, but... That doesn't look like his signature It to doesn't me. look like his signature. All right, so that perfume bottle was a little weird. <laughs> the signature on the bottom didn't quite look like Eichholt. Um, and also, I couldn't get the stopper out of it. So, I don't know. We're going to have to try to yank it out of there once I buy it because I was, I was a little nervous. I'm like, I don't own this yet, so I really hate to break the stopper off as I'm trying to yank it out of there. So, um, we'll play a, a little bit, bit with it um, when I get it back to the Airbnb. Um, but I kind of, I couldn't help myself. I've been thinking about it for a long time. There are some of the Port Marion canisters. The full set. And those are worth good money if you can get the full set. They have 190 on those. There's a few companies that make similar canister sets though. Coming soon. That's exciting. All right, I'm gonna backtrack a little because I just wanted to see if the perfume was there. Since we don't have very much time today, I'm actually heading down towards a few of my favorite booths down this direction now that I've got that, um, that, uh, what is it? Perfume, the perfume bottle, which I made an offer of $95 on, by the way. Um, I think that this is our Murano booth here. Sure looks like it. There's a few pieces here. There's a pink elephant in there for $23.50. A couple pieces of jewelry. It looks like she may have sold 
her Halloween necklace. Some fun lucite. Oh my gosh, that's really neat. Okay, so here we are. As you know, this is one of my favorites. And we're going to poke around here for a minute. There's the Anderson design birdie. There's the turtle. $3.95 still. Some Murano in the back. This is Charles Watton for three seventy five. So I know from previous years now that I can make offers, reasonable offers on this stuff, um, and they will consider. So if I find some stuff, I might make an offer. There is a Lundberg Studios Earth paperweight that I might be interested in. I think if it's under a hundred, they don't accept offers. So I think I'd have to pay full price for that at eighty-five. But I'd be willing to do that. I really like the iridescence on that. I think my current Lundberg Earth paperweight does not have the iridescence, and I have that one listed over on Knickknacks. Mm -hmm. Let's see what date it is. Nineteen ninety-one. I am the price is 85. All right, I will take that. Okay. This is really nice. That's from, that reminds me of the cat yeah, bud vase that I had. And then down here we have some swan glass vases. Let's see what else. Put your face down this way, sit up. Looks like there might be some check in the back. 95 on that. Yeah. Look at that. Glass fisherman. I think that's new since my last visit. Yeah. Oh, I just love this booth. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out. Do you have a number? Um, yeah, I'm B4. Check figurine in the back is really fun. I love those things. We're looking down this way. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, of course, I'm like, ah, I got really excited and then I saw the price. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a weirdo figurine. It's funny, we just did a, a interview video with, um, with Jacob. Uh, for Burner Brothers Antiques, you should go over and check it out on their channel. Um, it may not have posted yet. It may have, but go check out their channel anyway. And <laughs> he asked what I collect. I'm like, well, I, I, I collect, you know, swung glass vases and things and, and weirdo figurines. And so I had to explain, but this is a weirdo. Look how cute oh, yeah, he is. No, I agree. That's a weirdo. It's a high price weirdo. He's so cute. Yeah, Marty Goldstein. I got it's so excited bronze. when I saw him. Well, that's cool. I'm like, oh, he's so cute. And then I'm like, yeah. oh. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to pay that much for him. I know, but he's a weirdo. I he's definitely weird. <laughs> he is definitely weird. This cat planter right here is so adorable that I feel like I need it in my life. At least for a little while until I sell it. And then it could be in somebody else's life, but it's only $11.50. All right, so this is another of Jacob and Josh's cases. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, the last time I was here, I bought a Murano paperweight from right there. And Peter tells me, no, 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 you should have bought the other one. That one right there. And I'm like, okay, the next time I go back, if it's still there, I will buy it. And it's still here. So I'm going to buy that paperweight. I'm going to redeem myself. <laughs> And I wanted to see what else was in here. I kind of like that um, blue opaline picture in the back for 55 And um, I'll probably make an offer on it. Jacob is open to offers. Um, looks like Staffordshire. Swans. Lots of dolls. New decanters in the back. Looks like a $20 favorite weight to me. I thought it did too. You have to admit it does to me. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> yeah, I'll have, maybe it's the yellow. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it glows. Oh, Doesn't it have a black light? Yeah, it might be a. Uh, 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 my black light's puny and tiny, yeah. but it might work. Uh, I don't think so. No. 
All right. Well, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Can't do that. No, I will take I mean, them up for you. Oh, That's wonderful! No Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it looks like they redid this booth. It's pretty fancy. We look at this almost every year, and every year I'm like, oh, it's just right at that spot. I can't do anything with it. 105. Oh, I love the orange. And um, everything is now organized on shelves by color. It's very pleasing to the eye. Look at these big chunks of glass. Um, Logan actually just sold one of these on, on knickknacks. He ran an auction and he sold one of these big chunks. That is like leftover slag glass. And what I didn't know is that it's called a cullet. Isn't that neat? I thought it was just called slag. It's called a cullet. 105 on that ox blood. Curious what these ones are because these have the uranium in them. So I'm just going to check the price. So this is 300. Um, last I checked, Logan's was at a hundred and something at auction. I don't know what it ultimately sold for, um, but I think it was a little smaller than that. I'm kind of digging this Murano right here. I think it's the colors. It's making me wonder if it's neodymium, and I just, just need to get it in a different light source. It's really pretty. It's only $38, too. 38 bucks. Maybe we need to get in here if we can find a key. We'll keep wandering. Maybe, maybe we'll get a key. Maybe we won't. Lizard pottery bowl. Fenton bud vase is 45. Ooh, here's some nice glass. This is exciting. I like that perfume. It's 170. I remember this uh, this booth. They've got some really nice stuff in here. Look at those vases. I think I looked at those the last time too. Thirty-eight. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Okay. I bought a few pieces out of here. The last time I was here, oh my gosh, look at that lizard, that's crazy. Um, one of them was an enamel dish that I thought was a witch and everybody told me it was a shepherdess. And then a really cool art deco vase. So I figured we'd stumble in here and see what we could find. Because it does look like they filled the empty spaces with some new stuff. <laughs> that cat is really fun. Two twenty nine on the kitty cat. All right. Well, we are going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping at Heart of Ohio with me. I'm a little bit of Laurel and uh, George the Antique Nomad, even though he wasn't really with us a whole lot. Uh, we did have a good time. So I'm going to get out of here now, obviously, and uh, I'll see all of you guys tomorrow. So long.